Yes, that's out. Interest in the difficult art of leg spin bowling has certainly revived over the past decade, with many now wanting to investigate its subtleties and variations. One man regarded as the spin doctor to many great spin bowlers of the modern era is Terry Jenner, former South Australian and Australian wrist spinner. And he's here to pass on the basic skills of leg spin. Wrist spin is an extremely difficult art. Whilst trying to beat the batsman with flight and a game with spin, we also have a very, very small target area in which to land the ball. The stock leg break will pitch in front of the batsman and then spin sharply towards slip. Ah! Gone straight to Mark Taylor. To bowl the leg break, it's important to have a good grip. With the seam running between the fingers, the spinning finger is the fourth finger on the hand, and the thumb either resting on the ball or off the ball. That's an, an option. And the fingers and wrist working together to generate spin, like that. If you spin the ball hard, it can drift in towards the right hander's leg stump and spin away sharply towards slip. Oh! Oh, he's bowled him round his legs. Bowled him round his legs. Well, that's ten for the match. So, recapping, remember the comfortable grip. This is the spinning finger. The thumb is an optional, on the ball or off the ball. Fingers and wrists combining together to impart the spin. And spin it as hard as you can and as often as you can. Because the more you practice, the more you improve. Oh! Gone! Yes, that's out. Big edge, Haley took a gem of a catch. My word, isn't a girl having a good series? Well, you think that didn't turn. It pitched in uh, a little bit of rough, I think, outside the off stump, but it spun and turned. If your leg breaks spinning a lot and the batsman starts to get accustomed to the spin, then it's probably time for a bit of variation. And one of the variation balls is the top spinner or the over spinner. This ball looks a bit like the leg break, but when it lands, it often bounces above normal. And that can cause the batsman to be hit on the gloves, can cause bat pads if the men were around the bat, or even a high catch into the outfield. It's a very good delivery, and it's a nice one to have in your repertoire. Ah! And that's another. Dave Shepard, no problem. Puts the finger up, Stuart McGill, quicker one, probably the top spinner. To bowl the top spinner first, nice comfortable grip again. Thumb resting on or off the ball, again that is optional. So for the leg break the palm is facing towards the batsman. For the top spinner we move the wrist around facing away and the seam now facing the batsman. Again the fingers and wrist work together and then we spin it up and produce the top spinner which again in introduces bounce. This action imparts overspin on the ball which means that when it hits the pitch it will hold its line and bounce up towards the batsman. So once again recapping the grip same as for the leg break thumb either resting or off the ball only this time seam facing the batsman fingers and wrist working towards the batsman imparting the spin like so and bouncing and getting that extra bounce off the pitch and helps keep the batsman guessing. Another variation for the leg spin bowler is the wrongen, or the googly, or the bosey, known in all three terms. That's the one that uh, a batsman expects sooner or later to come from a leg spin bowler, and uh, whether it's sooner or later is up to the bowler. Ah! Bowled him, he's clean bowled him, 
That looked like a googly. Unlike the leg break, which spins from leg towards off, the wrongen pitches outside off and spins back towards middle. Okay, so grip, same as for the leg break. Thumb either resting just gently on the ball or off. In this particular instance, the wrist turns right around so that the back of the hand is facing towards the batsman. And from there you can see that the seam is facing in the direction you want the ball to spin. And then again, these fingers, working together with, in conjunction with the wrist, impart the spin, like so. Delivered with this wrist action, it will look similar to a leg break, turning towards slips. But instead, it'll go the other way. And they don't like that very much. Hey! Magnificent delivery from McGill. Well, he's kept that one in his kit bag for a while. And finally, producing a ball that the batsman had no idea about. He thought it was the leg break. It wasn't. Okay, summing up. Grip. Nice and comfortable. Thumb resting on or off the ball. No thumb pressure. The wrist turned around so it's facing the batsman. And that way we get the seam already facing in the direction we want the ball to spin. Fingers and wrist, again, working very hard so that on release we get that spin. So let me so show you again. We get that spin like so. Difficult ball to bowl, requires a lot of practice. Don't get frustrated if you don't do it early in your spinning career. But remember this, don't do it so often you lose your leg break because you are a leg spin bowler. Oh, here's the Robin. This has got to be close. He's given him a long look from Rudy Kurtzman. Ola Kapali makes a pair. Leg spin isn't the only form of slow bowling that can bamboozle batsmen. So too can off spin. And a man who knows its subtleties is former Australian and New South Wales